One of the things that we entrepreneurs like to do, particularly content creators who are entrepreneurs, we like to share. We like to share ideas with others, with our audiences. They'll come in. We also like to share with others. And there's a new tool on the market we're going to tell you about in this video that can really help you to get a lot more done. It's from our friends over at Perplexity. I love that tool. It's great. Really good for getting ideas and research, all that. It really kind of puts Google to shame, the traditional Google. But we use perplexity now for looking at what's going on in many, many different areas. It is nice for that. And they've added a feature now called Spaces. Spaces gives you the ability to have, oh, a, lot, a kind of a new feature of looking at customizable knowledge in a really good way. So you can look where Interact is there. You're interacting with the content and you're also putting it together because each space can be used to gather and curate content it can give you some insights into, hey, what's going on here? And it can facilitate conversations between different people. This is a big deal. As a matter of fact, because it's such a big deal, I wanted to talk with you about this and bring in my partner, my fiance, Gina Carr. Gina, welcome aboard. What do you think about this thing, what you've seen so far with spaces that Perplexity has given us? Well, it looks like a tool that's really going to provide a lot of value and make it much easier to organize things that go together. So things that you, you can access yourself and or you can share with others. So it's um, adding a very smart AI ability to organize organize your content and other people's content. So I love it. Yeah, I like that. I like what you said there. It's your content and other people's content, too, because one of the big factors of it is that it gives you the ability to put in those PDFs. You know that PDF you wrote a couple of years ago that was really good and that book that you wrote that was really nice? You can blend that in with two or three other things up to 50, whoa, 50 items that you can put in there and you'll be able to do it. You can also bring in outside references. So you can say, hey, here's a URL link to that really good column that so-and-so wrote. She did a great job on this article. I really like what she said over here. And here's another one over here from this source, putting those in there, bringing in audio, bringing in video. Here's the YouTube link like that. So it gives you a lot of capability because when you get really get down to it, it's a customizable hub. It's something that you've got where you can say, okay, we're going to put everything in there personalized interactive knowledge hubs where you're going to be able to curate the information around specific topics of interest. So if you say, okay, I'm interested in everything about what's happening with marketing here in the XYZ sector. And I want to know about how consumers are using these products over here in that sector. You can put that in there very easily. And also we have something, Gina, I want to get your comments on this as well. Collaboration and engagement, because you're going to be able to interact with others in a space so you can ask questions. You're going to be able to say, hey, here's an idea. Here's an idea. Up to 10 people. I like that. 10 people that you can put in there. You can ask them how to do that. Gina, it seems like that's going to be really nice for getting ideas from others, collaborating, all within the space of perplexity. So you've got access to say, well, what about this? I don't know. Let's go do a search. What do you think about that, Gina? Yeah, I think that's going to be great because one of the limitations of the language models, the large language models that we've been using is that the lack of the ability to collaborate easily. So for example, if you have a thread, you've created a, a thread and then I want to ask a question at the bottom of that thread, I haven't been able to do so. It looks like we'll be able to do that in in this new system uh, in spaces. So, so that's really good because it's nice to be able to share. I'm, I'm really a big fan of Google Docs, which is very collaborative, very easy to share and, and uh, make it so that people can either completely edit or just make suggestions or not edit at all, but just view. And so it looks like this is an attempt to add that sort of capability here. But I don't think they're quite there yet, but even just the ability to share the thread, I can add to it, you can add to it, up to 10 people can collaborate inside a single space, which is awesome. Yeah, I think that makes it very nice. So you can get ideas from the key people in there. Now, those key people can be collaborators, people that you work with. For instance, as entrepreneurs, we often operate on our own or with a very limited team, but you can collaborate with others. And that's the real secret. They don't have to be employees. You can just say you work with these people really well. You got a commonality. You have similar philosophy. 
pull those people in and be able to negotiate together, work with it. But also this could be for clients. This could be for people that you're coaching, people that you are working with to be able to say, hey, we're going to bring you in and talk about this and this. Here's a resource that I'm making available, a book that I wrote before, and here's a video I did, and here's an audio that I did. All of this is available to solve this problem that you have. So what it is, it's really taking Google Docs and doing a little bit more. And Gina, I'd have to agree with you. We really like Google Docs, but it looks like with the spaces capability in perplexity, we're going to do a little bit more and maybe get a lot more done. What do you think? Yes, absolutely. And one of the things I like about it is it's much like a vault or a closet. So let's say that it's it's a vault. And if you were to walk around the vault, and if I gave you a key to walk around the vault, you could see everything that I'm seeing inside the vault. And it has the capability that if I put a particular box in there, or file in this case, that I don't want you to see, I can set, change the settings so that you can't see that one. So it's still my vault that I'm going to go to because it's a collection of the things that go together that is all well organized into a space for me to work. And I can collaborate and let you see some things, but not everything. I think mm. that's really powerful. I think so, Gina. I have to agree with you. And I like what you said about that, well-organized. I have found uh, that when you lose things, it's not as good. You're not as likely to get a lot done. You know, not, not that I've ever done that before. No, no, I, I, I've i never, never done that. Well, well, no, I did it once back in, uh, when was it, 1992. Yeah, I did that once. Yeah, yeah right. I find that this is really good. You get it organized. It really helps you in a big way to get this done and to get a lot more done than you could otherwise. It really helps also enhance your research. So what you can do is you can put this and centralize all the things you're looking for. You look at it and you can look at external resources. This is a real biggie. External resources, that quote from here, this quote from there, put all that in there in one place where you've got what you have and your other collaborators or information that they see. So you can put that in there and be able to use your audience with engagement. You can use this to engage an audience in real deep conversation. For example, content creators could host a live Q&A right within the space. And that way you get a chance to build interactive guides and you keep your followers engaged. I think there's some good things with that, but I'm particularly interested, Gina, you're gonna to relate to this. We talk about content to cash. And with this, you could create a space where you allow those who have paid to be in a particular area to come in every Wednesday at three o'clock or whatever. They come in and they're able to exchange ideas and meet and find out what's going on. You're doing all of this within spaces where you then also keep records of that, that uh, article that Mary mentioned last week, and it's over here. And then the one that was really, really good that Jane mentioned, it's over there. And that one from Bob, we put it over here, all of it's together. Jane, it seems like that would be a good way to get a lot of good research, apply it in a practical way for paid content. People that say, hey, I want to be in that group, and they bring it in. What are your thoughts on that? Yes. Well, one of the ways that I've been thinking about using this is for our private clients that you and I both work with. We work with uh, a private client who wants to achieve certain business goals. For example, I'm working with some folks that want to create online courses and membership programs. And so this will be a great place for us to store the material that we're collaborating on. In, in the past, it's been a little cumbersome to, okay, where does the video go? Where does the summary of that video go? Where does the uh, where does this additional video go that I know was not created by me, but was created by someone else that's relevant? Where can I put that all in an easy to use space? And so I can see that this will be really great for that. And then And then the people that I'm sharing it with can collaborate. Yeah, I think so. That collaboration is good. Well, Gina, let's take a peek at it real quick so we can see some of the, from the big picture point of view, what's going on with this spaces feature within Perplexity. Well, here we are in Perplexity itself, which is a great tool. If you haven't seen Perplexity, you definitely need to look into it. I want to draw your attention over here on the left. You'll see Perplexity up there in the upper left. That's the, uh, the logo they have. You get started there. New thread, that means a new set of questions that you might have, back and forth interactions that you'll have, home, discover, and here it is, 
our buddy spaces. He's already moved up to our buddy level. So it's real good. When I click on that, you'll notice it gives me a lot of capabilities here. These are spaces. These are some areas that I had used before it put in there and it lets you see what's available with it. And then some examples of other areas so that you can then start looking at a lot of different areas of the interest. Like for instance here, the art of war review. So I click on that, it takes you in here. And now you have the file of that. Notice they've got a PDF of the art of war over here on the right side. But also this way I can find out all kinds of questions to ask, what does the art of war say about avoiding battle when possible? So it's showing me this. I can do questions based on that. And I can then invite others in to join me on that. After we've shared that, I sent it over to Gina to her email address. It accepted it. And as you can see right now, I've got the T there and we've got Gina's picture. That is her email address. So now she is part of this. I can add up to eight other people because you have a total of 10. So we can collaborate on the Art of War review if we wanted to do that, to send some ideas back and forth to each other, bring in other files. Gina could say, hey, here's another file that relates to that. Let's bring that in as well. So with these uh, capabilities here with spaces, we can share a lot of information. We can share, yes, of course, the documents. We can share our own work as well as the work of others. I think that is the real breakthrough on this, Gina. It gives us the ability to tap into a number of great resources. And frankly, I'm looking forward to getting to know more about this right now. What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, for example, we have a workshop coming up soon that we're very excited about helping people plan their content to cash for 2025. And we are we need a place to house this material, to organize it, to put it all in there so that you can check it out. I can check it out. Our assistant can check it out. And uh, this is going to be a great, great resource for us. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be a capability where you can do it. And so those of you that are content creators, those of you that are coaches, your clients, you've got a membership program, you want to share with people, this is something you definitely want to look into. Looking into spaces in perplexity is there. Now, they do have an availability to use it if you, in their free program, but you get a lot more capability in their paid program. So look into that. It has some marvelous capabilities that you can use and start working with them in different areas. And Gina, I think you have something you wanted to share with the folks on uh, how they can get involved with some of the capabilities. we got a gift that we want to give to them. Uh, Gina, I'm going to let you share your screen on that and uh, tell the folks what we've got. Yes, well, we have a terrific resource for you guys. It's um, an ebook where we have co collected some of our favorite AI tools. And you can get that at aitoolsforbiz.com. That's using the number four in biz, B-I-Z, dot com. Uh, you can use a QR, QR code right there or just go to the URL. And it's an, an opt-in. You share your email address and we will share with you this basket of goodies that will help make your AI business journey much better. Yes, indeed. And you notice that's AI tools, the number four, B I Z AI tools for biz.com. We keep changing that and adding to it all the time. So if you bought that or if you didn't buy it, it's free. You went there and you got that a little while ago. You'll see that it's still upgraded on that. Well, we've got a lot of good ahead for you here at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. I'm Terry Brock. And with Gina Carr, thank you for joining us today. We'll look forward to hearing from you.